In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a book or some type of text that can be read. Um, you don't really need any Java for this, um, but uh, to create the actual text that you'll see in game um, requires you to make an NTX file. An NTX file um, is typically uh, it's a string that's a text file so I'm just going to go into strings into my maps project here of the Vampire of the Masquerade Redemption folder and I'm going to create an NTX file here and I'm going to make a make it for my map NTX the second step here you gotta make sure that uh, in your Chronicles meta file you have to load the NTX in there okay I called it my map dot NTX so I just saved that and let's go back into the NTX file here under strings and an NTX file is a lot like um, is a lot like an HTML sort of file. Um, to define a uh, a line, let's take an example here. I'm going to go into local English. Note that it's local English knob in the main Vampire the Max Raid Redemption folder, and under strings there are NTX files here. I'm going to open up London to show an example here. So let's see here. I'm going to close this out and keep this example up here as I'm going to build just a basic NTX here with only one line. So what you do for the first tag here is you put text in. You put what the name is name of the line is going to be. Um, I'm just going to call mine test. And then you're going to if if you have an MP3 file, you can play an audio along with um along with the text. But I'm not going to have any of that. I'm just going to have uh uh none, I think, or something like that. And then this last one, this last parameter is to be 0. And then we put, and just like an HTML sort of thing, we we put the end tag for that. So also like HTML, we need a title. And this title, I don't think you have to uh, capitalize. I don't think it's tap sensitive. This title um, will show up on the top of that text. Um, I'm going to put testing, testing, one, two, three on there just for basic stuff. <clears throat> and now for each line that you're going to create, it starts with a P very similar to HTML again and then you have this uh, hex value. This hex value is actually a color, a hex value color. Um, to find out um, if you don't know anything about hex value colors, you can actually uh, you can actually uh, Google it. I would uh, Google hex colors and on mine I get hex colors chart you can go and look for hex colors chart and if you go into here it'll give you the hex value for that color say if you want your text to show up red it's FF0000 so if you go in and you want red text you type you type it in with the first part is zero x and you go ff zero 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 and I make my next text blue or blue ish actually I think uh, you can make that eight zero and that should work this text is blue and for white for just a white basic text it's zero x ff 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 text is white and that's it 
So we just made our one value here for our NTX file. And what uh, our next step, we need to, uh, let's close that out. We need to make the item of which is going to have this, uh, this text assigned to it. Make a new template. I'm going to make a new sibling here of item. I'm going to rename this my maps. And make sure that you're making a unique name for this. Its name has to be truly unique. So when you're uh, when you're making your actual project that you're going to distribute, be sure that um, you're not using a generic name because that could be a that could be a problem for um, other projects. Um, when you're distributing. Oops. So now I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag this on over. I want to take an example um, text items. I'm going to take the text items from my maps. I'm going to drag that down there too. So now that we got our book here, we can go into you go into item and item text and the text that it shows should be based on not the name of the file but this this line here that we have um, defined so it should be called test now we just save our uh, our template file so I'm going to save the template here I'm going to save it as, make sure you start with an underscore because it's very important that all templates start with an underscore. It tells the engine, the Nod engine, to append any data that you have in this .not file to the main database. If you don't have it, it's not going to work if you don't have that underscore in there. So this isn't just for show. It's actually very important that you have it. And you don't need .not. It will automatically be extended there. So now it's underscore my maps dot not okay there's a few things that I need to add to this uh, this my maps thing I just created uh, first off the parent on this uh, text items my maps here has a uh, item amount sent to one we don't want that I want to remove that I also want to make sure that the item type here is set to book has to be a book and item flags can let's remove the destroys at zero charges here okay let's keep that also going into the next parent here to find any other flags I'm going to delete this flag what this does is it actually sets the flag to that of this parent that I have here so it now it sets to to match its parent so it's now an inherited flag from the test I, test text items my maps. Um, I'm also going to remove this. It's going to now set to the default book. So it's inheriting from the from the parent above it. And the item's now set to a book, and that's required to make sure that the text works. So now we can just save, exit here. Now I'm just going to go into my maps. I'm going to knob this all together. So I'm taking chronicles, conversations, levels, miscellaneous, paths, quests, scenes, strings, and UI. Right click on it. 7-zip. Add to archive. Change, this, uh, change the mymaps.zip name to mymaps.knob. Now I got a knob file. I'm going to cut it, paste it. All right. Now we can also, now that I have a custom knob file, if I load up Embrace now, and then I press, uh, I press N. Notice my maps .not is on the list now automatically, and it's categorized under item scrolls. It's categorized under books, and there's my my map test book. And I can apply this to my map if I wanted to, but I'm just going to do this with the storyteller. So I'm just going to exit out of there, and I'm going to run the game and show off the so storyteller. So I'm just going to go in and be sure to load up 
the Chronicle of which you signed the NTX file too. You'll need that. Or else the test keyword that we assigned to the book will not run. So now I'm going to go into storytelling mode here. Items. I'm going to spawn my book here. Then I'm going to right click. I'm going to right click on this book. And there's our text. That's testing, one, two, three. That's our title keyword. And here was our red text. Here's our blue text. And here's our white text. So, it's pretty simple. That's pretty much how you do it. Um, that's the conclusion of this tutorial.